Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Scout Treasures. And I'm here today with a mini haul, mini jewelry haul and catch up. And just wanted to say hey to everybody. I I know I said I was taking a mini break. Just kind of, it, it has been a mini break for me because I normally put out videos every day and I think them out or I at least have a plan of what's coming out and I just haven't. So it's only been a couple days really, but um, it might be a couple days again before I pop on again. So I was like, you know what? Let me go catch up for a second and say hi. Um, because, because, and it's sorry if it's echoey. We're in our apartment up here in Austin. And um, yeah, we've been just thinking, you know, looking around the houses and trying to do homeschool. I, I really just needed to get away from our house in Houston for a bit because I was going crazy. So yeah, that's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of where, where things are right now. So um, I'm here because I'm not there, <laughs> if that makes sense. I just needed to get away. And I still feel like, I don't know, like so stressy about things, but it, it'll it'll settle down eventually. Um, so I just needed to take a little, a little break, but I wanted to say hey, because I miss you guys. I'm sentimental like that, I guess. I missed everybody, so I'm just saying hey to everybody and seeing everybody, so hello in the chat that are here live. Hi, Carissa and Julie. Hello, Delinda and Crafty Reseller. Hello, Forever Lose On and Tom. Thanks for coming to say hey. It means a lot to me, really. I think taking a break, because you know I put out videos pretty much every single day. Um, <laughs> I still feel like I, I need time, you know what I mean? But I just, it's been good because I'm finally getting to that point where I'm taking the moment to like prioritize things and figure out what's important. Because I was getting where like, I was just getting stressed over everything, you know? And so I just thought, okay, I needed to um, take a, and I'll probably still, still take a little step back and my videos won't be as, I know to you it may not look like I put much thought into them, but I really do, which could either be really sad or really impressive. But I think it's <laughs> – I know sometimes I don't look very well thought out. But anyway, um, yeah, but it's given me a chance to take a step back and kind of prioritize things. And one of the things that has kept – you know – I don't know, is it meditation? It's when you take a step back and you're kind of just reflecting on things. And so one of the things I'm reflecting on is like, you guys are important to me, you know, and talking to you guys um, is important. So anyway, we'll get sappy for a minute, but that's that. All right, so I have a little mini haul. Um, and I thought I would share it with you. So I went to um, some garage sales up here Saturday. It was kind of drizzly. I did a bit of a ride along just to talk because I could talk to you guys and you're not there, but you might hear it later <laughs> because that's what happens in a ride along. But um, so I did a bit of a ride along, um, but I picked up a few things, not a lot because like I said, it was kind of drizzly. So there weren't a whole lot of things out. Um, and then we went to Savers, which we don't have in Houston. We went to Savers today. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Cheryl and Lori. Hello, Francis. Thanks for coming. So let me share with you what I picked up at the garage sales. Um, I got these clip-ons. I'm not exactly, not exactly sure why, but I just did. For whatever reason, I liked them. Uh, they looked like they were in pretty good shape. No marks or anything. But I just got them. I don't know. So these were a dollar. Those were those. And I also got another pair of earrings, which I like. I'm, I'm almost tempted to keep them. They look like horseshoes. Uh, and I am almost positive that they're silver. Of course, I didn't bring my magnet or my loop with me. Uh, so I need a spare just to keep in my car. So there is this, these earrings. And they're weighty. I, I mean, they, they have a really solid weight to them. So I have a feeling they probably are sterling silver. I just can't see marks right now because I can't. So there's those. We're a dollar. Um, let's see in the chat. Hey, Dad, Brenda. Brenda says, it's always good to take a little time away and get your head reorganized. Yeah, I just feel like I was barreling forward, you know? And I think 
I think, I, and I am known, I, I know myself to do this. Even when I was working and teaching, I'm a busy person. I just, it's like I have to stay busy, you know? I, I've never, I don't know. I can't stay not busy. I have to be busy all the time. So <laughs> it's, it's hard, yeah. Uh, I stream, okay. Yeah, I used to do Periscope, Tom, but I, did, I just quit doing it. I like YouTube. Yeah, a lot of people watch. And eventually you can monetize if that's important to you, but it's not always important. Um, okay, so next, so this one garage, so this lady had um, boxes of things laid out, like $1, $4, $8, which is typically kind of high for me, but I'll show you what I got for a buck. I got two things there for a dollar. So there's this gold, it's just gold tone. I'm almost positive. There was a dollar. So I was like, okay. And it's got this cute little crystal heart on it that I liked. I just thought it was pretty. It was a rainy day. So <laughs> I got it. And then another thing I got for a dollar there was this one, which is this, you know, again, gold tone, little barrel beads. If you can see them. And then a barrel clasp closure. And it's got this stone on it. And it's like, I don't know what kind of stone this is. Cream colored. And it's got a bit of orange in it. But I'm not sure what, what it is. It's definitely a stone, though. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Hello, hello, everybody. 36 friends are here. Hi, guys. All right. On them, I spent $4 each on these. This one's got a bit of a knot in it. I can't undo the knot right now but so there were two that were just like this so this was four dollars if i can get a hold of it look i can't even get myself straight and it's got these pink maybe pink quartz maybe something else and these are 925 these are silver look at my energy levels just like uh that's okay i just wanted to come say hi really Hey, Murphy the Esky. Hi, Monica. Hello, hello. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay, there we go. So these two, like, um, oh, I didn't show you the other one yet. Ah. Okay, so the other one I got is just the same style but different stone, and it is most likely lapis right there. So, ooh, that looks good. Well, oh, it looks better when it's, like, way over here, though. Yes, I'm like the never ending story. Okay, so there's this one again, 925. What do you think? I'm gonna have to look at it closer when I get home and, and decide if it's lapis or, I think it's lapis, not sodalite, because sodalite's blue like that too, but I'm pretty sure it's lapis. So I'll double check that. And then these ones, I, I just recently found out what this stone was called and I can't remember. Oops. So this set I spent $8 on. So it's this, there's a bit of a glare. And y'all, if you can help me remember what the name of that stone is, I would love it. And it's kind of like that rusty orangey brown color with black swirlies in it, like so. So then this is the pendant, and I couldn't read. There's a marking there. I mean, I know this is 925, but there's other things. But I did not have my loop, so I could not figure out what it said. Maybe it will show up better here and I'll be able to read it. Nope. I cannot read it. If you can read it, does it say Oklahoma? I don't know. Okay, so there's that. And then is it a Jasper? It might be because there's lots of different colors of Jasper, that's for sure. And so there are the earrings that match it. So I spent eight bucks on those. There is the back of that one. I can't read what it says. Does it say Thailand? Is it really? It would be, oh, maybe it does say Thailand. Okay. Anyway, so I spent eight bucks on that set, which is okay, because I can get a necklace. So, you know, not too bad. But, but wait, there's more. Um, okay, before I show you the rest, let me see who else is in the chat, because that's why I'm here, really. This jewelry is just an excuse for me to come and say hi to you guys. Um, hey, new cottage economy. Oh, it's nearly midnight. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not going to be on forever. I just have a few little things. Um, and I just really wanted to come say hi and let you guys know what's going on. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you caught me, Debbie. Thanks, Monica. Let's see. Looks like, no, it's not Tiger's Eye, but I, I, yeah, I can see. Thanks, Secondhand Jan. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, 
Julie says, I can relate to your energy level. My mom just moved out of her house of 30 years and now we're removing my husband's. Oh my gosh, I can, I can feel it. So we, you know, just was it last weekend, that may be part of it too. It's just so much emotional orange earrings. Let me hold those up again. Um, is that what you want? Hold them up here to like my ear for size like that. Um, yeah, just my, you know, my brother came down and we cleared out, we finished clearing out my grandmother's storage locker. And so that was just a huge emotional, it was really hard. Uh, no, I don't think they're carnelian because they're not, I don't think so. There's something, I can't think of what it is though. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then just trying to pack up our house and we were going to have a garage sale and trying to figure it cause we're going to rent our house. So trying to figure out renters and we have somebody interested and it's just, ah, it's like too much, a lot of stuff, you know, and trying to buy a house and trying to figure out pods and what are we doing with all of our stuff and everything. Right. And then there's car trouble and then the cats have to go to the vet and then there's kids. That I got to still teach these kids. Right. <laughs> so Red Jasper. I'll look that up. Okay, so then this bag was a dollar. It had all these. I'll show you in a second. But then this was in here. So this is a Howlite. Ooh, can I hold it up to my eyes? Here we go. Um, this just necklace. But I thought, you know, for a buck, it's cool. Somebody's going to love it. It's pretty big. It's sizable. It's a sizable piece. Red Jasper is correct. Aha. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and then also within the dollar were all of these jack-o'-lantern like dyed how light pieces and I was telling my son you know you can, we can make jewelry with them because they're drilled out and he was like wait we can make jewelry I was like yeah we can make jewelry so I think he's interested in like getting some cord or something and making these into little earrings or there's little ones too making earrings and necklaces and things and trying to tell them like yeah dude go for it do it do it um let's see okay let's see in the chat moving has been great for my physique but has fried my brain julie says you know and that's the thing too being up here in austin we are outside so much we, we are getting so much activity because the weather is beautiful and we're right by the green belt so we get up and we go you know walk down the green belt and there's a stream running through there a creek and so my son has a little net that we got at a garage sale and he's over there trying to catch tadpoles and um fish and minnows and things so it's just been nice to go and chill but in the ride along i tell a story about something that was not relaxing that happened and, and i went and bought pepper spray but i'll save that story I'll save that story. Arlene, did I miss your garage sale? Arlene, are you the one that sent me the $5 from the garage sale? Is that you? Because I got a letter in the mail and I never got to, to write back yet or contact you. Let me know in the chat. Um, no, because it was going to rain, so we ended up coming up here instead. So not this weekend, but the next weekend. Not this one coming up, but the one after, if, it's, if, it's, if the weather's good. I can't remember if that's you, Arlene. I can't remember. Oh, okay, good, good. That's you. Okay. I was like, I don't, she, she sent me five bucks because we got to talking at my last garage sale. And then she left and she wasn't sure if she paid or not. And I'm not sure either. So <laughs> I don't remember either. I was just glad to see the stuff go, <laughs> honestly. Okay. So the next thing I got, I do have a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> So, no, no, you haven't missed it yet. Oh, darn, the stone popped out. Well, there goes that. I'll fix it. Um, so the stone popped out of this, but I'll be able to fix it, I think, pretty easily. Let me see if I can pop it back in. So, just to show you, it slipped off my lap. Oh, no. Okay, I'll be able to fix it, though. There we go. There we go. Boom. Okay. Um, hey, Kaylee, how's it going? I'm uh, missing something else. Bought my first bag. Okay, Monica says, bought my first bag for almost 40 bucks. Well worth it. Lots of jackpots. I did a video and it took forever to go through a gallon bag. Oh, I bet. Oh, did you upload the video? I'm going to go see. I've been trying to catch up. That's another thing, too, I've been enjoying. Because normally I'm on the videoing end. I'm on this end of the camera. So I don't, get to, I don't watch as many as I like to. So I've been able to go and, and catch some other people's videos lately. So that's been kind of fun, just going through 
and watching other people's jewelry videos. I watch Princess Castrol just did one, or Makeup Zombie. Who was it today? Makeup Zombie? I just watched it. Sorry, I get mixed up. Okay, I've got to fix this in a second. Um, the kids are great. Yeah, the, my, the kids are doing great. We went today to Interspace Caverns, which are these, you know, caverns. Um, so we've been getting to do a lot of outdoorsy stuff, which I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait till we're done and moved and just here. Because we're, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so here, I bought this today at Savers. Ready? I'll start, I'll start here. We'll do the full tease. So we've got this S hook, and yeah, it's Mark 925. I spent $20 on this. So for me to spend $20 on something at a thrift store, you know, it's gonna be cool, or I just think it's cool. Okay, da-da, 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 Why does it sound like the Pink Panther, though? Dun, da-da, 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 There we go. Isn't that cool? Okay, so yeah, I did. I spent $20 on this. This is loose. I need to pop it back in there. But isn't that awesome? I was wearing it earlier today. So I, if, if I decide to go ahead and sell it, I'll probably, and again, I, I haven't looked this up, so I, but I would probably sell it for 60 or 80 bucks. And it's silver and like these geos. Isn't that pretty? So I was like, yeah, okay, 20 bucks. Shoot, I'll keep it. I'll keep it if it won't sell for more than that. Um, but yeah, I've got to pop this piece back in. It's kind of popped out a little bit. I can see now that it looks like they, they were pressing on here to keep it in there. Um, isn't it pretty? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I've got to pop the little piece back in there really good. But I can do that. Um, Monica says, yes, three parts, one costume piece worth over 80 bucks and one piece. The bracelet I kept was 45 others listed. Oh, good, good. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Then I got something for Chris, which is weird because I don't normally buy things for, for boys. I don't, I'm not married to you. But I found something. If you guys watch Chris, Bonafide Hustler Chris, he's been doing this. He's got a new shtick. <laughs> we all have our shtick, right? He's been doing this shtick where he talks to a banana. Have you, have, do you guys watch Bone Fight Hustler? So he's got this thing where he like picks up a banana and pretends like it's a phone, you know, like, I don't like a banana phone. So I have, I found this banana flask today. So I'm gonna give him this banana flask. Don't tell him, he doesn't watch my videos, so I know he won't know. <laughs> watch, watch him watch it. So anyway, yeah, I got this, it, had, it, it was at Savers. I'm loving the baggies at Savers. Do you guys have Savers where you are? Oh my gosh, I was like, my arms were full of baggies. I was like, this is not gonna happen. I can't take all these baggies home. So I started putting things back, because, right, we're moving. I don't need all this stuff. So I did, I got this though. This is for Chris, just because. Yeah, I'm following your advice in this event, right? That's his, his thing lately, right? Now he can just take a sip. He can put his Jopios in there, in his banana flask. Anyway, oh right, my banana bank that I had a long time ago. Oh, I missed that banana bank. I'm gonna regret giving this away now. I regret giving away that banana bank. But um, yeah, but I did. I saw this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand that over to to the old Chris Dupree. And it has another flask in it. I'm so fancy, but that's just a me. It probably get redonated. I don't know if it's been used or not. I don't know what's I don't know. What this? That'll probably just get redonated. I just wanted the banana. I didn't think they would let me have that. Though. So at least it's still new, right? Um, yeah, Tam. <laughs> Yay, you made it. Um, I just actually was coming to say hey. I didn't have that much jewelry and stuff to share. I just wanted to come say hi to everybody. New cottage. Congratulations on the new. Pre oh, cool. Um, thanks, Ilana. Hi, Julie. Hello, hello. And let's see. Heather says, no savers in Charlotte. Darn it. Rihanna? Yay. I've, um, I've only been on for a little bit, but I won't be too much longer. Hey, makeup zombie. Hey, Tam. Okay. We got a couple other things, but this is for us. My son loves music, right? My youngest. Um, I haven't gotten any music lessons yet, but he loves the piano, and now he's, we've been playing ukulele together, so he's carrying his ukulele around everywhere, and he loves tapes. And CDs. So when we're at Savers, 
you know, he was he picked out a couple tapes just because he likes to see. Well, I wonder what this is gonna sound like. Loon song, and this one is Deep Breakfast, which I have a feeling is gonna be new agey. That'll be something mommy has to deal with. And then I encouraged him to get the boogie woogie one. Yeah. So he got boogie woogie as well. So those are some tapes. Those are Michael's. And um, did I find a place to buy? Say, is Savers a Goodwill? It's kind of like a Goodwill. Yeah. Bob found real pearls at an estate sale for $4. What? Yay. Hi, Myra. Hi. So we're not moved all the way. We have an apartment here. So this is a two-bedroom apartment. We're back and forth. So we're here right now because I needed to get away. But we're going back tomorrow just to work on packing some more, you know, to get school still um, – we're still doing school. Um, so yeah. Uh, so no, we're not in a new house yet. We did go look at a few houses and we've got to just figure things out. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. I feel like my brain's going to explode. So yeah, we had them restrung. Oh, that's so nice. Are you going to sell them or keep them, Heather? Remember Tiny Tim on his uke? Oh yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. And that, that's the thing too. The ukulele thing, like, I forgot. It's just, I get so, like, one, I, you know, so focused on, like, these things that need to be done that I forget, like, I need to take a time to just sit and play the ukulele with my son. You know what I mean? Or walk down to the stream and just, you're going to sell them? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Did you find a good place to get jewelry? I thought, I mean... This savers that we went to had some nice stuff, and I did ask about jars, and she said she gave me the lowdown on when to come, you know, and and stuff. So today was not the day to come, apparently. And she did let me know that there were other people that come specifically for jars as well. And I said, well, nice to meet you. I'll, I will also be joining that crew that comes for the jars. <laughs> so um, I, got, I got one other thing, but this is for me. I got these. They were in a bag as well. Or $2.99. And they're they're coasters. They're from Geek Gear. Um, if you if you know like Loot Crate, Geek Gear, they sell geeky stuff, right? And I, I subscribe to a couple of them, but these are Harry Potter themed coasters. So even if I was gonna sell them, I I, I would make my money back because people like me would buy them. <laughs> so there's two of them, two little tins with the Harry Potter posters. It's just the colors of the different houses. Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. So I'm hoping that now that I'm in Austin, I'm going to find more geeky stuff like this. This is cool. But those are for me, for the new house. Coasters. Geeky coasters. Yeah. I didn't bring my, if you guys, I have, Jason T. Smith sent me some Harry, like 12 days of Harry Potter socks, and I didn't bring them with me. I need to See what my next thing of Harry Potter socks are. So, anyway, there's that. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to come and say hi to you guys and let you know what was going on, and that I'll be back soon. But yeah, if Arlene, I don't know if you're still there. But yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of inventory, a lot of inventory. So. I mean, we were. I, I was at the point where I was just ready to gut it and take it to do, we donate. I was ready to just like everything's out. You know, I'm just taking pack the jewelry up and bring it. Um, but now, you know, Randy talked me off. The, actually, he didn't talk me off the ledge. He was good either way. But he's like, "Well, just you know, we can have this garage stuff because we got to clean out the garage. We got to get rid of all this stuff." Um, so I'm gonna be. There's gonna be a lot. Arlene. So, let me know what you what you like to sell. If you're in my area, you know, if you're going to come to my garage sale, let me know what you like to sell because then I can um, save it. Save it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm looking. Heather says we moved from Florida, North Carolina, 500 inventory. Oh my gosh. Uh, the crazy car we moved from Florida, Maryland, with 8,500 pounds of product. That would be me. That would be me. You should do a video of how you manage your inventory for taxes. I would, but I don't. 
I don't. <laughs> I just let my tax person handle everything. I give her all the stuff. Like I, I give her like, this is what I spent and this is what I sold and this is what I got. And uh, yeah. So, I mean, I, I used to keep a better inventory system where I logged everything I bought and how much I bought it for. And when it sold, I would like log how much it sold for. But it became really a lot of work. So I stopped doing it. Um, hi, Phyllis. Hi. I, so I'm just talking to people in the chat now because I wanted to. And I'm looking. Da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot to move. Right, Monica? Maybe I'll be looking for garage sales in your area next week. And let me know, Debbie. I told you. I'm going to have like, because I'm not bringing my dishes with me. I have a whole set of china. That was my grandmother, you know, my one of the many sets of china for my grandmother. I've got some of that radioactive fiesta wear that's going because my mom, it was my grandmother's and my mom wanted it. And then my mom doesn't want it. So we're going to have some wicker furniture. We're going to have, I don't even know what else. We're going to have a lot of stuff. So lots. And then James has all of my out, like off cast jewelry stuff too. So he's going to have a ton. I'm like, babe, you need to like make some jewelry bags up to bag and sell. Yeah. Cause he's, he, I mean, he raked it in at the last garage sale where it was just, I was trying to sort out jewelry and he was taking all the bits. I think I've told you guys this. He was taking everything that I was going to redonate things that were missing stones and like just watches that were like Meh, watches and they didn't work and they weren't fancy or anything. He made so much money. He made like $64 the first day and maybe 20 something the second day. It was, it was, yeah. You need to get a CPA that knows about reselling. Heather says, yeah. You know I have an antique, but I'm always looking. Oh, darn. Yeah. Um, you started selling mugs because of me. That's going to be hard. And that's the thing. Like, I see it's hard. And I think getting away helps, too, because I walked into my workroom to start clearing things out, and my head wasn't there. My head was still looking at everything going, that's $30, and that's $25 and that's $50 and that's that. Blah, blah, blah. Not you paid a quarter for that. You paid a dime for that. You paid a dime for that. You know, I'm still seeing the, the dollar sign behind some of these things. <sighs> oh, Joan. Okay. Joan is jo Debbie Jones in Dallas, right? I thought Joan was Jones in Dallas, Joan. I thought Joan Brody was in Dallas. Maybe she's in my area. Chris video is on now. Oh dear, don't tell him. <laughs> Our mugs, yeah, I, I mean, depending on the mug, I still sell mugs. I, I like selling mugs. They're, for me, they're easy, they're cheap to pick up. I like things that I pick up cheap and can sell for a good profit. I go, who doesn't, right? That's the name of the game. <laughs> but yeah, mug is, mugs are one of those things that I enjoy, just depending on the mug, for sure. She would drive, Monica said. <laughs> My son has got a lot of lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, Bob's just put dinner on the table. Bye. What are y'all having? I hope it's good. What are we having? Better ask the kids. Um, bum, bum, bum. aren't there analytics on the selling platforms for tax purposes? Yeah, there are, and I have everything that all of my um, my Etsy, my PayPal, my bank account, everything syncs into my GoDaddy account. So I'm able to categorize everything in GoDaddy bookkeeping, um, whether it's, you know, cost of goods, whether it's travel, whether it's, you know, gas, whatever, you know, and I can, you know, categorize it all in there. And then they, it prints off a whole form for me. I just take that to her. Say like, here, here's my stuff. Yeah. Um, best is I keep buying jewelry because I haven't sold anything. Opening is the best part. And I have a jar at home that I'm going to open soon, too. Yeah. And I'm not selling right now, but you're right. That's the fun part is opening the jar. But I, I will sell it. I'm looking forward to that, like getting everything going again once we settle things down and start selling again. That'll be that'll be good. That's the video I should do. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, do, do, do. I'm looking through the chat. How do you... How do you tell people what you do for a living? They ask you what you do and you tell them. What? Yeah. Um, at first, when I first started reselling, it was hard for me to describe to people what I do. And now I just say I'm a reseller. 
I buy things and I flip them online and I make YouTube videos and shirts. Just everything. That's what I do. Yeah, Tam, Texas is fun. It's lots of th great thrifting and garage sales. So, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, yeah, Becky. Be uh, Myra says I use Becky Dorky Thrifter spreadsheet to keep on track. Yeah, and Becky's great. Y'all should watch Becky. Dor I know she doesn't put out a whole lot of videos, but she's really sweet. And she's got good information. So. Rihanna says, I bought a shoebox at an estate sale and waited till I got home to look at it. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I considered it my jar. Was it full of jewelry or did you get it home and it was full of shoes? That's what I want to know. <laughs> that would be the real surprise. I'm just going to buy this box and we'll see what's inside when we get home. <laughs> and you open it and it's like an old pair of sneakers or something. <laughs> hey, Swag Maven. Um... Knowing not to have too much inventory, no matter how much fun buying is. And you know, that's the thing too. I think that might, it might help me. I'm, I'm going to probably do, maybe I do a video and just show like, this is what I'm working with in my workroom. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I want to bring with me. This is all the stuff that's going. I'm getting a headache in my eye just thinking about it right there. Right there um so yeah I, I yeah i couldn't when i was showing my house to this family that wanted to rent it oh my gosh okay just imagine that those of you with work rooms that know what i'm talking about with you know our hoarder hoarder nest and then being like okay i'm gonna show somebody this room and try to explain it away so the thing is, I'm a reseller, and this looks like a hoarding situation, but I promise it's not, right? I mean, imagine like having somebody come in there into your workroom or wherever you keep all your stuff if it's as messy as mine is and trying to explain it. The rest of my house doesn't look like a hoarder house, but my workroom does, so yeah. Okay, let me see in the chat what I'm missing. Um, I, I'm gonna really try, like in the apartment, I've already said, this is my work closet. And it's small, it's like a little coat, coat closet size. I'm like, Randy, I'm vowing to you now. This coat closet will be my work room closet for while I'm here. And he's like, whatever. <laughs> okay, Margaret. But I'm trying, you know, I'm trying. Um, Yes, it was jewelry. I <laughs> said, Leo Glass vintage costume jewelry and sets. Oh, nice. A Belova watch and some nice stuff and some really ugly stuff. Ugly sells sometimes. It really does. The crazy card. Uh, some I tell I sell art and collectibles. Other I tell I'm a junk dealer. Depends on if I want them to know. That's a good. Yeah. Do you sell shoes? I, I have sold shoes. It has to be really special shoes. Like right now, I have a pair of pink Doc Martens that I want to list. I haven't listed them yet. I probably have them a year. They're not my size. I think I keep on holding onto them because I keep hoping that they'll shrink at some point and I'll be able to go into my workroom and find these pink Doc Martens that are perfectly sized for me, but they're not my size. But I know I can sell them for a lot of money online, but I just won't sell them because I keep thinking they're going to be my size one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're really cute. And they're like, they're mm, eight or ten hole. They're like, they're not shoes. They're like the boots, you know. Yeah, or ten eye. Is that what they call it? Eight eye or ten eye or something like that. Yeah. So it's just stuff like that, you know. Have an online sale with us. <laughs> then I would have to box it all up. Oh, my gosh. Um, looking. Oh, Brianna's saying she also had silver spoons, gold filled jewelry pins, lots of tie pins. Oh, yay. I'm looking in the chat. Hi, in the UK. I cannot, not at the moment, give you a quick guide. Uh oh, here comes the husband. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll show you the pink docks because they might be your size. I do watch Mom the eBay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the wall real fast. I got to go open the door. Uh, 
That's why I couldn't answer the phone. You okay? I locked him out. Ah. Um, yeah, when I get home, I'll see what, what size the pink docks are. Um, yeah, I do watch Mom the eBay. I love her her, um, her dumpster diving, her, you know, trash diving stuff. It's so good. Okay, I better go, you guys. Thank you for coming. I really, you know, I just had a little bit to show you, but I just wanted to catch you guys up and, and say hi and everything because I miss talking to you. So she found cool jewelry on today's video. Oh, cool. I'm going to have to go watch Monica. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to go watch that. Okay. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for coming to hang out and go down there, leave a thumbs up, leave me a comment, just say hey, because that's why I came on today, just to say hey to you guys. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. I cannot find the button. It is. Bye.